Well, hello there everybody. It's Sally here and welcome back to Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now, I'm a bit later today. That's because I thought at one point I wasn't going to make it because I don't know about you, but life is getting a bit busy around here. And uh, I know from various friends that and piano teachers around that their lives are all so busy with concerts, um, extra lessons for pupils, exams for those of you that live in an exam world, as well as your own practice. And I'm busy practicing at the moment and trying to fit that in sort of a, an hour or two hours a day because I've got a concert coming up on Saturday and believe you me trying to get in an hour or two of, of piano practice really quality stuff is really hard so my teaching tip is very very simple very quick because I haven't got very much time and that is to write it down and make a list so I have a planner journal a planner journal well it's a planner but you can call it a journal if you like and I write down each day what my main three things are that I want to achieve. So the first one for me today is practice the piano. And the second one is, is doing something for my concert that I'm doing on Saturday. And the third thing was to write a blog for the concert that I'm doing on Saturday. And, um, you know, I've just about done all those, although the piano, the piano practice hasn't gone very well so far, but um, I'm sure I'll come back to that later on today. So rather than having things Whirling around in my head a bit like a washing machine, you know where it just spins round and round and you get more and more worried and, and um, Slightly depressed by it all just grab a piece of paper That's all it needs to be a post-it note is really good. You know just use I haven't got any post-it notes here That's very unusual for me. No, no post-it notes Um, little ones, but they're not much good for that, but um That's a small one. Not a nice big post-it note just write down what it is you need to achieve that day. Just dump it all down, every single thing you can think of, and then make a priority of the top three. What are the top three things that really you can't finish the day without having completed, okay? And um, I find that once I get it out of my head and onto the paper, it's so much lighter because everything is kind of fixed there and I can, I can really organize myself. So that's it for me today. I need to get back to the piano and a bit of pra more practice before I start teaching in a little bit. Uh, but thank you all so much for popping in. I can see Chris is there. Hi, Chris. Thank you for watching wherever you are. Um, I hope you all have a splendid day. And, you know, if things are getting on top of you, write them all down. It doesn't make them go away, but it does mean that you can get them in an order and prioritise them. All right. Happy playing. Happy teaching. Bye for now.